All right, I am at Christmas Rocks State Nature Preserve, and I'm just getting started. Parking lot is right here. Right here on this sharp curve. I couldn't tell you the name of this road. We're going to head back this way. Now, I'm going to try to work out myself today. Looking at all trails, and I talked to a couple hikers that just come off. I want to hit the hill. It goes back, and I guess there's two loops. You go back, and there's a loop, and they meet up again, and then there's a loop again. And according to all trails, if you go uh, clockwise around those loops, the hill's more intense. Entering Christmas Rock State Nature Preserve. No pets, no vehicle access. Um, anyway, what I was saying, so I'm going to do clockwise around them loose just because I want to get stronger on hills. Hills sometimes still wear me out. So that's how I'm going to do So I probably won't record going up them hills. He was telling me that there's one part that's so steep that it's literally like climbing a ladder. But um, everybody keeps talking about Christmas rocks. It's a really nice height. It's really beautiful back in here, so I'm going to check it out. Since I just left Clear Creek, and I figured I'd hit this on the way back to Columbus. Uh, but I've seen some view, some pictures of the view, and I've got some really nice views back here, so just have to check it out. They told me to take my trekking poles, so I got them in my hand. But I guess according to all trails, if you go counterclockwise around the loops, that the climb is not quite as intense. But like I said, I'm going to go clockwise. I want to climb the hills. The trail uh, is roughly around four and a half miles out and back, which is fairly quick. I'm going to take my time. I'm in no hurry. Figure I'll stop up there at the view and sit down and enjoy the view munch on something before I can turn back. I know there's some people out here because there's cars out there and I've seen some people coming back. So I know I'm not alone out here. You know, it would be cool to live here. I mean, basically right in your backyard, you got a nice trail. I mean, come on. How cool would it be to have a trail like this in your backyard? Doggies up there, two dogs. It looks like they don't really mess with nobody. They're just looking at me. The dog, say, you just stay down there and we'll stay up here. <laughs> See him there? All right, so we're gonna go this way. Christmas Rocks State Nature Preserve. Stay on trails at all times. Hiking anywhere off the Dixieland Trail is illegal. No problem.
something over here on the left. There's another house. I also see something a little further up on the left. <clears throat> that would be cool to rent. Uh, are we allowed up here? There's a sign up there that says Kiwana's Cabin. So it must be part of the Kiwana's Club. No trespassing. Okay, I was going to go up there, but I didn't see any sign, but then I see no trespassing sign there. So, some places are pretty strict when it comes to trespassing on the property. But anyway, that cabin would really be cool to rent and stay at for like a week. Come outside and get on this trail every day. I know there's people out here, but haven't ran into anyone yet. Okay, the guys I was talking to out in the parking lot told me when, when I come to the loop, the split off, um, according to all trails, has you split off right there okay you can you can see a trailer though it's not marked and it's not very clear he said to go up further and it'll actually a better trail up there and you sort of like uh camel back and how camel back he said basically you're gonna split back and then you're on the loop going clockwise. He said there's a pole on the right side of the trail. But he said, yeah, don't go there where all trail says to go. But he said, go up further. And if you look real close at the dotted lines on all trails, you can actually see what I'm talking about on the dotted lines versus actually looking at the green markings of the trail itself. So if you want to go that way, you can. I mean, it's up to you. But they said, come up here a little further. Okay, I see a pole up there on the right. And this is actually how the park has it mapped too. See? And this is where it's telling you to go off. And see how it swings back, like a switch back. And he said to go this way. And you can see this is a lot easier. So now we are officially, well, we've actually been climbing. As soon as we got off that gravel road, we are slowly, a slow incline, we've been climbing. I'm going to stop here for a second. Let you look at the hill, we're getting ready to climb up. I hear somebody up there coming down. I don't see him, but I hear him. So, this is the first hill we're going to climb. It looks like there's something up there at the top, too. I don't know if there's a building up there or what. I don't know. But, that's what I'm getting ready to do. So, we will see you at the top. Okay. That is a rock wall. Oh. 
We'll see if we can get a better view of it when I get up there. I don't know if we can walk along the underside, under, uh, lower side or not. When I come up that hill right there, though, dude wasn't joking that some parts of it you can actually use your hands and crawl up. There are some steep spots. All right, I'm now at the top of that rock, rock crevice we were looking at from below. Look at the view there, man. And this isn't the view that I hear we have yet. There's another one up there. But he says the view is up here. Oh, here it is. Look at that. Okay, now I'm at a point here, make sure you don't go that way. Private property beyond this point. No access to nature preserve. There goes this way. So I think that may be the only actual view up here, I'm not sure. I've never, like I said, I've never been here before, so. But that's the view that I saw in the pictures that I saw on Google. So we climbed one hill, which was, I don't know if that was Jacob's Ladder where we climbed, because 
There were spots actually was literally like climbing up a ladder. I was actually using my hands climbing that hill. Um, and I will come here again and I'll go that way again because like I said, I want to challenge myself. You're stronger on hills. That was a good one to do it on. I mean, <coughs> now we're going to go back down and then we're going to go around and then we're going to hit the second loop. And again, I'm going to go clockwise because I want to climb the hill, the more intense side. So I have run into a few people out here. I see the guy going down the hill when I got to the top and then when I was at that lookout point there, the guy there was a little girl. They were there, I don't know what they were doing. She was doing something, banging rocks together. Okay, now I'm going down the opposite side of the hill that I just came up. And this side definitely looks a lot easier. So that's why. I think if you want the easy way, go counterclockwise. Yeah, this side's definitely easier going down, which definitely would be easier coming up. I tell you what, man, it's like you gotta wear a hard hat in here. These acorns falling out of the tree. I walked back in one spot back there and it's like they're all falling at once. That's why I keep hitting going down this hill. Acorns and it makes my feet roll. I'm trying not to step on them. Okay, I'm going to stop filming here so I can concentrate on climbing or going down. Okay, this is where the first hill comes back down. When you come back down, going clockwise around like I did, and you come back down to the main trail, you're going to come back down here. So if you want to go counterclockwise on the first hill, just keep on going and go up this way. And it'll take you up to where that view is at and then back down the first hill so when you come back down after you do the first hill you turn right and now take you back to the parking lot left or continue to take you back out further onto the trail and probably 30 yards that way is where the second loop begins you can either go to the left which will take you clockwise around the loop or just keep going straight, but you take your counterclockwise around the loop. And that way, either way is about the same as for the climb, doesn't matter. Okay, I am back down on the main part of the trail now. Down the hill, back down to bottom. I don't know if it's considered literally the bottom. But now we're heading back further. And we'll eventually hit the second loop, which looks like it's right here. I'm going to look at all trails just to make sure. Okay, I stopped because people, plus I was talking to, I talked to people on the trails. Anyway, we're basically at the top now at the second hill. And as I said, the, the climb for the second hill, nowhere as intense as that climb for the first hill. No, not even comparable. But then there's some rocks up here. 
but not like there was on the first hill. There's some rocks up here. So we are basically almost to the top of the second hill now. I saw a couple down at the bottom with their boy. They were asking about which way to go and stuff. I was telling about the first hill. I said, you got to go up there just to see the view. Uh, and I noticed behind me, they were actually following me on the lower parts. So I think they didn't feel like climbing. Every time I go to try to film something, I run into another person and stop talk, start talking to them. Ran into a couple of women. They were trying to figure out how to get out of here. Uh, pulled up all trails and showed them where they're at on all trails and how to get out. Now these two hills, like I say, I'm still at the top of the second hill. I don't think we got any more corn all trails. I think we might have like a small climb. We go down and then maybe like a small climb again, nothing major. And then we uh, loop around and then we start heading back on the main trail that we came in on. I don't know if there's any more views out here. I think that one view was it. But uh, I do run into a lot of people out here. Usually state parks, you don't always see that many people, but this trail is very popular. I could not tell you how many people I've already ran into out here. Just standing out here, really quiet and listening.
This is when it'd be cool to hear a tree fall. As beautiful as it is out here, and as peaceful as it is out here, when you stand and be real quiet and listen, off in the distance, you can still hear the signs of urbanization. All right, we're right to here, but I want to come over here and check this out here. Was this a bridge at one time? Interesting. Could that have been an old road? Well, it says we can't hike off trail, so I would, would not mind following that a little bit and see where it goes, but this looks like It at one time was some type of bridge or something way to pass vehicles or something over. I mean, look at it. Those aren't. Yeah. See, there's a couple drain pipes. Pretty cool. Now I'll find out what it's for or what it was.